Hey, what's up, guys? We are here at BNH, and you already know. Um, I'm only gonna hit the audio floor, so don't think you're gonna get a whole tour of the store. Maybe you get a visual, but for me, I want to see my guys in pro audio. So come on, let's check them out. Yo, what's up? This is Shamel Hughes, multiple Grammy award-winning mix engineer. I am here to provide you education, consultation, and to show you a lifestyle of an audiophile like myself. So, thanks for staying in the mix with Auditory Life. Now, let's get to today's segment. Ah. Come on in. Hello, how you doing? It's the video, guys. This is what you like, this is what you like. Hello, James. How are you feeling? Doing well, right? I'm doing well, doing well. Thank you, thank you. What's up, dude? <laughs> Yo, what's going on, kid? I'm trying to get up in that monitor room. That's where I want to go at. That's all right. Don't put, don't put a on the, don't put a on the camera. I just want to go in the monitor room. All right, you can see that until we get in there. What's up, guys? We are here on the H on the floor. We're going to walk inside the monitor room and give you guys a view of speaker display that I got up here. And, you know, the reason why I tell you guys to come here and check out some monitors. Because I guess in the background, you can see it's a quite a selection. So I'm about to take a little walk in there. P &H, baby. All right, guys, this is the monitor room at b &H. In this room, you have an array of speakers to select from. Different price points, different qualities, different models, different brands. If you guys ever need to make a decision on which monitors to choose from in a price range or budget, this will be one of the first places I will attend. These are pretty good right here for the buck. They're like $100 right now. They used to be like $140, $100. They sound really, they sound really good. Really amazing for the buck um, for a pair of small monitors, all right? I usually stay away from the Yamahas. Everybody's on the Yamaha vibe. Focal's doing new things with the, with the Alpha Series. Pretty sound, good sounding monitors here. Um, Care Arcade is just standard for the boom boom. These are one of my fan faves. I have this in the studio right here. All right. Um, definitely check those out, pair of Focals. Yeah, man, it's the monitor room. Check it out. This is B&H Mic Room. In this room, we're able to listen to all of the individual microphones by patching in on the rack unit right over here. Um, but we have microphones in all different price ranges, all different qualities. So if you're interested, this would be a good place to start if you're trying to hear yourself on a microphone. Now a lot of places you can go to and test the microphone in real time. And b &H has a mic room that you can do this in. So come here, check it out. Balls, we don't play. I'm stacking change, then I do my thing. Me and shot, but we in the studio, yeah, we make it rain. Jacking niggas talking, beat me, jacking niggas beats. I'm the nigga from the bottom, yeah, I came from out the streets. Getting money every time, know my name is nice to me. Double back, I'm about my money, that's the only thing we speak. I was a trapper, making it happen. Niggas know we never cap it. Getting money every time, I'ma get it, that's my life. I don't know these niggas if they watching us. We got it right, niggas know we Moving forward, whatever I do, whatever idea I have, it's time to just put it out and execute it. So that was motivation for me to just be like, yo, fuck this shit, just put everything out, just do it. And then, like, on a day to day, like, I'm always moving around, I'm always in the world, everything evolves around music and audio. So it was like, yo, this would be a cool ass channel, the cats just follow me with cameras and just, and just do what I normally do, hang out, pull up on people that's doing the same stuff, hang out, vibe, and let everybody see, like, yo, this world is dope. We got dope people all over the place in different spots doing dope shit. You know, it's not always fucking glitz and glamour. Right, right. 
right. But it's about the grind. Yeah, it's yeah. about the, the behind the scenes. It's about what you're doing when the cameras are not on and this shit. Yeah. You know? How long you been doing this project? Shit. I would say I just probably kicked this up actively probably this week, oh, honestly. Okay. Oh, wow. But I had the channel up for like two, for like a year or so. Cool. I was doing tutorial videos. Yeah, but yeah. now I'm about to bring it to a whole lifestyle thing. Also like software. Well, yeah, like, you know, Pro Tools. I'm a Pro Tools. Yeah, I'm a Pro Tools cert. I'm certified in Pro Tools, so educated. So I sit there and like teach all kinds of stuff. And I was just like, all right, doing the tutorials is cool, you know, but people need to see like the lifestyle of like audio heads of just exactly. what we, yeah, what we do. You know, go. How we eat Yeah, how we eat and breathe and, and create shit. Like, pull up my, y'all about to pull up my boy crib and smoke some weed and play with beats. Watch me. You know, people want to see that shit. What's the name of the channel? Um, auditory life. Auditory life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, that's the Instagram channel you have mm -hmm. too, right? Yep. Page. Yep. So everything auditory life, but now I'm kicking it up. It's okay. kicking it up. So I'm coming by. I'm fucking with everybody. Nice. So I'm definitely gonna pull up by you. And be like, yo, create some shit for them real quick. Yeah. Show them what time it is, Mont. You still have that NPC, the gold uh, edition? I still got it. You know what's crazy? I just now started using the software, like yeah. literally, like two, three weeks ago. Right. Dude, I fuck with the software, bro. Yeah. I'm, and not only just that, but I'm in there like recording and mixing in it and stuff yeah. like that. It's pretty cool. I didn't yeah. know how solid the software was. Yeah. And it has like, like um, the NPCs like simulated, like it simulates their their engine, like mm -hmm. 3000, 2000, it yeah, simulates yeah. the sequences. And I was like, yo, right. that's pretty dope. Cool, man. Yeah. So I've been getting into how that more. How long did you have it before you started using the software? Sitting like like two right? years, Sitting two three years. Two years. Yeah, two One three years. You were just like, cause dude, I, yo, dude, I, you know, you know, was another thing. I think I had a fortune cookie. So I read, I read a fortune cookie, and it was like, yo, okay. it was like, yo, get out the old, open, open get out, your, up, yeah, huh? get out that old shit, get out your old ways, and start getting into your new shit, new shit. And I was like, you know what? That's great. You know what? You're right. I was like, you're right, fortune cookie. <laughs> Let me go in here and uh, pop that software up. Let's yeah, let me see what the software is doing. I'm in there clicking away. It doesn't even feel right. I'm just clicking away, adding dots and shit. I'm like, oh, that's funny, and I'm like, oh, this is why these guys love this shit. It's so easy. Da 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 da. da. I'm like, oh, I just put the sequence in like two minutes. Yeah, the few minutes, an hour of using it. That's it, dude. I'm in there like, man. You're like, what was I doing for two years? I was doing what James was doing right now. Yeah. I was doing that for two, for for way longer, for way longer. But now it's. So I like it now. I like it. So I've been doing way more beats now. I haven't been making beats in years. I'm making way more now. Like I'm trying to make one, not even, I'm kind of making one like almost every night. Like before I go to bed, I'm making something. Yeah, it's gotta be like a workout, you know? Like mm -hmm. you gotta commit Regiment. to time of day and exactly. just keep yeah. those muscles tight. And, and that's my thing. Exactly. Yeah. Before I go to bed, let's make a beat. Yeah, yeah. Or get something started. Yeah, even if it's just a half hour, hour, yeah, mm -hmm. little jam. Get that's something started. Synthesizers, yeah. just like, yeah, I know. Mess around with like oscillators right. and like, all right, no, that's why I gotta get you. Like, that's why I gotta get you fucking right. with the simps. Yeah, same way, dude. I know you go heavy. You and Aaron, y'all yeah. go heavy with simps. I want to get y'all on camera doing that shit. Word, plugging in your gadgets, mm -hmm. fucking with y'all CVs and and patches. Okay. Yeah, cause y'all be they be going in. Yo, you ever see they, how they be setting up yeah. rigging? They be experimenting yeah. like a yeah. I don't go. I, yeah, I don't go that far. I don't. I won't yeah. get that deep. That's not. I know. I like uh, my favorite, a good like workout for me is like you pick up your synthesizer and you set it to the basic patch, right? Mm -hmm. Like you know, like the default patch where everything just sounds yeah, like, like a square simple wave. square wave, mm -hmm. and then from there you start tweaking, start shit. subtracting stuff, and add, you know, changing the uh, all that shit, and then you just create something. Yeah. See that? Wild. Yeah. I definitely have to be on. That, that takes skill, dude. That's that's. It's it's meditating. It does. It's very meditative. It it's yeah. Very uh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, when you when you sitting there creating like that, mm -hmm. it is there it's therapeutic more yeah, should I yeah. say, you know, because you just be in your zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, that's why I gotta link up with you. Now I got this YouTube channel. It gives me an excuse to pull up on everybody now. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, like it, it's right. like, yo, bro, now we gotta get together and do something because I got a channel and then I gotta let people see the ill shit that you do with synthesizers, or the ill shit that you do with fucking beats, yeah. or the ill shit that you do with building fucking walls, whatever. Whatever, if it's ill, this guy. I don't know, these guys are okay. I think it's time to go. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think it's time to go. These guys are having a little too much fun over there. Hey, we're closing soon, so. Yeah, so let me get. It's about that time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Martin. Nice Good seeing you. Nice meeting you, bro. Nice meeting you.
Yeah, I'm gonna get up out of here. All right, guys, once again, thanks for joining me here on Auditory Life. Uh, we're leaving B&H for the night. It's a cold night up in New York City, of course. That's why we all bundled up out here. But hey, man, you guys already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And this is Shamel Hughes, man, Auditory Life, signing out. All right, let's drink. I'm the trapper making it happen. I was never playing games. I was out here for the cappers. Niggas know I'm about my money and I'm time I'll get it happening. Niggas know I'm about my money and I'm time I'll get it happening. Flexing. When you think of doing something creative, think HMG.